later, guys. I'm in the woods again. So I'm on my family's property here, and I got big plans today, quite ambitious plans, especially since I got a little bit of a late start here. It's already almost probably close to 11. So, um, so I'm planning on trying to do a little bit of bushcrafting. I want to try to make a raised bed, and we'll see how that goes and how much time I have to do it and if I abandon it or not. But there's this nice open spot right here. So I think this is where I'm going to set up camp. You can see the bog behind me, the beautiful bog, open space. So there's a little bit of a, a depression right here, but I think it's all right. So I'll explain the setting for you guys. We are in northern Wisconsin. It is New Year's Day, January 1st, 2023. So obviously I was up all night watching the Twilight Zone and Clint Eastwood movies. Um, but the weather's not supposed to be too bad, like a 20 for a low, maybe 30 for a high. And we got about, I don't know how much snow you would say that is maybe 10 inches of snow. I didn't wear the snowshoes today because you still sink in most of the way and I didn't go very far from the cabin. So, no snowshoes. Do have the shovel this time, that's for sure. So I'm gonna start, uh, shovel out the area and then I'm gonna start cutting down some trees. So, stay with me guys. Okay, I cleared a bunch of snow. I'm not down to bare ground or anything, but majority I got a big area now. So I'm kind of thinking I run a line across these two trees. And then my bat will be right here. It would be better to go here, I think. But that's a pretty far distance. I don't know if I got the cordage to do that. But, we'll figure that out later. So now I am targeting evergreen trees. Hemlock and spruce. Um, what I'm looking for is about maybe that big, approximately. I don't know. Between three and six inches diameter, low at the base. And I'm looking for trees that are growing tight together because then it's better to just thin it out and they, instead of them competing, you'll get a healthier, one healthy tree instead of two mediocre trees. I think I'm gonna take the ax should be able to chop through a little tree like that pretty dang quick. Lots of them. I 
can eat some bigger logs too. So here's a good example of trees growing close together. So this one is pretty big and then there's another one here. So that's like, I don't know, five inches diameter and then there's like a, a three inch and then there's like a one inch. All three, these are hemlocks, Eastern hemlock growing together. So I'm going to take this medium sized one out and then this main one will do better. Okay, I don't know how many poles I got. Do I got three here and two, two here and three at camp? Is that what it is? Five. See, it's really thick in here. Which has its uses on the ecosystem, but also has its issues. Look at the beautiful opening right here. Oh, that's hard work in the snow. Oh, I already drank half my water. Oh. So, I got five poles. No, that's not even close to right. I got seven poles here. Um, I might need more, I might need less. Or different size ones probably is what I need to get them all close to consistent with each other. I want to build a little, little uh, like log cabin for the for the pillars of the bed. I don't know what you would call it for the two ends that hold it up. Maybe stack a couple stuff on top of it. I'd like to get a softwood tree down because then it'll be easier to saw through. If I cut down a maple, then I have to saw it into like a dozen two-foot sections. It'll be harder. So now I'm just kind of contemplating on how big of a evergreen do I want to cut down. Yeah, I think this is going to be my tree. like seven ish seven inches diameter maybe i don't know i want it to go that way i gotta get my axe and my saw
exactly the right direction, but pretty close. Okay, we'll make the back cut with the saw. I'm going right at the camera when it moves. It pinched the blade. I had to push it, but it's not that big of a tree. I don't know why I'm still wearing this thing. That's for dragging the sled. Oh. All right. Whew. Oh. So I cut that tree down. This is it. Took all the limbs off. Man, there's a giant pile of Above, I know you can build raised bed or insulate with pine boughs and stuff, but I'm not sure that I'll have time for that today. But anyway, so I cut I cut a stick and use it as my measuring unit. So each one of these logs is two units. So I'm going to cut them all in half, and then that'll make the pillars for my platform I'm not too convinced that they're gonna be high enough I'd like it to be higher probably but we're gonna start with that cutting down the pine with so much the evergreen the hemlock so much better than trying to cut up a hardwood tree. I cut right through this stuff with the bow saw. It's a lot of work here. It's not a lot of work, it's just that there's a lot to do. If there was two people, the other person could be getting firewood, right? Get a fire going, get water going. And the other person builds a shelter, but by yourself, there's a lot to do and it's slow. It's physical, it's physically demanding, but it's not like crazy demanding. It's not that you can't do it, it's just that it's it's tough. So Well, I'm gonna saw these logs up and see if I can get a get a platform. Maybe I better run my rope line first to make sure where my tarp is gonna be before I go trying to place logs underneath it. There. There, that's the logs. <sighs> so the plan is to just do this. Right, put one like this. One like this. One like that. And one like that. And then the poles go across. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd like it to be up high like that. Look at that sweet chair. I just might sit here all night. Who needs a bed? Oh, yeah. I need to chug water. I only got half a liter left. I need to start boiling water. Okay, how's that look? Man, that's a big tarp. This is the the DD hammock three by three, three meter by three meter. Brand new for Christmas this year. Thanks to my wife. That's nice. I think that'll work just fine. I really do. Okay, so if I'm laying like right here, let's see. I think that side is higher. So the biggest log we'll put like right here. Except to go this way. And then we'll take the next two smallest logs. This is going to be a problem. This is going to roll. Nothing but the big ones. Yeah, that's not flat. That's not going to be the best. I'm going to move this one towards the middle a little bit more. Try to dig this out a little bit. like them apples. How long does my my poles need to be? So if I'm six feet, we'll say I cut the poles at like seven feet. Okay, we're back. A little bit of camera difficulties there. I think the batteries were too cold, even though it's not the GoPro says they're good to like 14 degrees, and it's not 14, it's warmer than that, but I think the battery was too cold. So the first battery died, and I put a second one in, but it was dead, and I'm certain I charged them all. So I put them in my pocket for a little bit, and I decided I was going to go maybe get some firewood, and I took a little walk. And all I could find, everything is punky, super like rotted. So it might be a 
Might be a hike to find some firewood later. But put the batteries in my pocket so now they're warmed up and we're back in business. So I cut these poles to about seven feet. And I uh, just uh, settled this stuff a little bit. Tried to get it all nice and level. Okay, so I got this stuff leveled up a little bit, just eyeballing it. Let's put these poles on. Are these too big? You know, I almost want them to be more springy so that they bend. I almost want to spread the bases out. But, who knows. You see, I gotta clean them all up still. But, I gotta smooth them out. And I'm probably gonna need I'd say at least three more. Maybe alternate them head to toe, but as far as a rough fitting goes, I can't lay down on this because there's stuff sticking out everywhere. I'll put a hole in my shirt or my body probably. I would say that's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's really sweet. If I can make it wide enough. I need to get some water going before I get more poles. How am I going to do that? I hate burning evergreens. They just don't put any heat out and they just disintegrate into ash. I need to get some maple. I'm gonna take a hike with the saw, see if I can get some maple. Got a little bit of a base here. Not a very good one. It's super punky, wet stuff. Yeah, super punky, wet stuff. But. See if I can do this here.
give me a big flame. Some of this stuff is super wet. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice having a seat like this. Oh, camp's a mess, but it's a camp. We're getting there though, now I got the fire going, at least. So, I got water in the pot. Right here. I got snow in, I got, so what I do is crush snowballs up real tight and put them in there and I filled it up and I only had like an inch of water in my bottle and I poured a tiny bit into the bottom because it's best if you start with water in the bottom of your pot but I don't, I just kept one little swallow here because I'm going to eat some trail mix and take a break, a quick break here. Sometimes I forget I'm filming a video out here and I just do a bunch of stuff and then it's like, oh, I got to show you guys. But it's because it's like so hard to do stuff, it's harder even yet to film it. So, you know, I'm doing a little bit of both, but anyway, I'll show you guys what I did. So I got two more long, big poles. I got the fire going pretty good here. And then my water was boiling, so it's about probably like one liter or one quart. I think they're about the same. So it's not a lot, but it's enough for me to fill up my water bottle and chug a whole bunch. And then I'll be in a lot better condition hydration wise. And I can, I'll be making water all day and all night, but I just need some right now, which was, which has now been addressed. So, yeah, I'm gonna clean up these poles and then get them on the bed here and we'll see how many more I need.
Well, my original thought with this was just to smooth out one side of the log of the pole, but I want them to be able to somewhat fit together too. And it's not really much effort. So I'm kind of doing more of a all the way around it. I got three done. Five to go after this. Which means plus this one, that's four plus five. I got nine poles. Two of them are pretty small, but I think they'll work to fill in space. And yeah, and I am uh, rotating the poles head to toe every other. They just fit together better. Check it out. We got a bed. I cleaned all the logs up and then I just spent, you know, five, ten minutes kind of figuring out which ones were which. I decided to go with the biggest ones diameter on the outside. And as they get smaller, they go in the middle. So there it is. That looks sweet. I'm super excited. Let's lay down on it. Set this camera up. Can you see that? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. Oh. It's, it's stiff. But man, is it flat? And it's not like I'm on the cold ground just getting the heat sucked out of me. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. It's like just the size of my body. I don't sleep on my back very much. I usually sleep on my side. And I have legs up and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Ah, chilling in a bush. I'm gonna take a bunch of those pine boughs that I got from cutting all these down and try to maybe build a wall. I also plan on moving the fire closer at some point, but right now it's fine. There, so I just brushed that in big time. I built a snow wall. That's, I don't know, two feet this wide. And then I took all the tops of these poles and I stuck them in. And then I filled it in with boughs that I got laying all over the area from all the stuff I was cutting and limbing. So I got a pretty good... See, I don't know. It's, it's, it'll have some benefit. Um, still a big open shelter, but... That's alright. That smoke is killing me, though. This fire is killing me. Burning that punky wood is just nothing but thick gray smoke. It's just like you inhale it and it's so bad. It's not a clean burn is what it is. It's just a thick gray smoke. I did manage to find one good seasoned hardwood tree. It was only like this big. So I'm kind of saving most of that. I've been burning some of it now, but 
Trying to save that for later tonight. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do the same thing over here a little bit. I'll build a little bit of a snow wall and pile some some boughs in it. And just give me a little bit of a pocket here. Alright guys, it is time to settle in for the night. Certainly dark. I gotta clean camp up quite a bit. A couple random things everywhere, I guess. And uh dinner tonight I got the cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna stir up stir fry some meat and potatoes. I got this side walled in a little bit now too. So, yeah, I'm just gonna be putting around camp for the next uh, half hour or so. Time for a drinky poo. good. Warms the belly. Okay, I am ready to start dinner. I don't exactly have the best cooking fire, but I'm gonna get it going. So we got a cast iron skillet, baby. And uh, I'm just gonna cut up the potatoes right in here. I don't like have a cutting board. Um, yeah. I lose my onion. The uh, recipe, which I made up, calls for four red potatoes. And I know this is bad for the knife and the pan. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't wanna try to split a log open. To make a board. I gotta try to mess with the fire. I'm going to put the potatoes in this dish. Hey. Oh. Hold your breath. I want coals. Ooh, grass is on fire. It's pretty solid yet. All this stuff out in front. Put this back in the back.
at best. But it just might work. You still going there, camera? Not dead yet? Let's go just like that. Officially cooking. Potatoes in. Ooh, no sizzle. That's all right. Pepper. Lots of pepper. And salt. All I ever use. Ah, uh, she's heating up. I got some super sorry looking carrots. They're super soft. I don't think I transport them very well this weekend. It is time to prep the onion. I think we'll just use that half there. Should be plenty. Just gonna uh, coarsely chop it here. Oh, I think it's frozen. Gotta be careful here. Some onion into the pan. This is venison back straps diced up. Hit the meat with the salt and pepper. Again. There it is. Bushcraft bed. Meat and potato. I got two sticks. I can start right on. Perfect. Perfect. Cheers, everybody. We are eating. Mm. Carrots are underdone. I thought they'd cook faster because they were so soft. Potatoes, perfect. One 
buy it with everything. Mm. Very good. Excellent meal. Suppose I can turn that light off and stop pointing it at you guys. That's better. Now I don't point the light at you every time I look up. Mmm. Nice hearty meal. This will warm my belly tonight from the inside, warm me up. I don't have much firewood. Everything I have is on the fire. I got, pretty soon here, I'm going to be down to two logs that I just keep burning in half. But, I don't know. Some areas it's hard to find good seasoned maple. And if I start burning pine, it's just smoke, like all morning, all day. <laughs> like all day today. So, there's just no, it's just no good doing that. It's, I mean, if you need the heat, yeah, but if you want to enjoy sitting around a fire, it's, it makes it tough because you just get smoked out constantly. So I'm just going to let the fire go out tonight, sleep with no fire. It's very enjoyable to have the fire going all night, but I think I'm just going to deal without it. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off and eat all this food. And then it's time for my, my routine of oh, listening to music on my phone and probably open up some book PDF on my phone and you know, hang out for a couple hours and Indulge in some whiskey. And then, I'm not going to set my bed up until I'm ready to use it because I'm going to be sitting on this platform. I don't want to be sitting on my bed, all my bedding stuff and get it all dirty. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit.
there, that's it. All that's left to do now is crawl in. I gotta, I'll put my big heavy coat over my upper body on the outside of this. And I got a wool sweater I'm gonna put on. So I take off these boots, take off these pants and climb in. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure my water's gonna freeze tonight. So, oh well. Yep, yeah. yeah, everything's set. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Oh, I am freezing. I'm actually all right. Oh, I'm all right. It's uh, it's warm enough, but I I'm certainly sleeping out in the cold. I slept all right on this bed. The width of it really wasn't much of an issue, I guess. It's as wide as my sleeping pads and pretty much confined to those. It's tight, mommy big is what I hate. I can't move. But it's, it's about an hour before light. I'm getting up. I gotta get up. <laughs> So now I gotta try to fiddle with my, I gotta get my pants on and then my boots and then I can at least stand up. Oh, yeah, so. Time to pack up, break camp and get the heck out of here. Get, find some warmth. Yeah, my boots are frozen stiff. Wow. Right, maybe I'll get my feet in these easily. Holy cow. The leather is just frozen stiff. Get my foot. Look at that. Oh, I got it. Man. Oh, wow. Whew. Oh, okay. Boots are on.
Sweep duffel. Sweep duffel done. So I put my water upside down last night. It's not frozen. But what I've heard is that the top freezes first. All right, so now I could flip it over and drink the stuff that's not frozen on the bottom. But if the top was frozen like this, I gotta like try to bust through it to get to the water. Oh, ice cold water. Jeez. Heavy stuff goes in the bottom. Just like that. Heavy stuff in the bottom of this too, like the cast iron very bottom and the other thing I should note is you want more weight in the back so that the front can lift up as you hit obstacles and logs and stuff the front is tends to lift up and if you weight the front the front would tend to dig down I'll just put that like that. And this, let's go like that. That should do it. So I'm going to hold the back up and over. This and in the front, I'm going to do the same, except I'm going to do this corner in like two folds, so one at an angle, and then one straight. Right, so that's just straight up and over. I want that front to be nice and slim. So at an angle like that, and then, and then straight over. And it's pretty tough to get it that good. But it's almost better to incrementally get it. All right, so if I do this, Tie it off. And I could kind of tighten the folds up as I go. So that one like that. That one like that. Okay, let's 
so now it's folded or it's tied in place so I can kind of snug up the tarp. underneath it with the front with the flat it's like that feels pretty good and tight with the shovel otherwise you can kind of snug everything up but Know the limit of what you're working with. This is just a kid's sled, so I'm not gonna crank on it to get it tight. And there's your sled. All ready to go. And there's the bushcraft bed. So I just realized that I forgot to bring out my belt with the carabiner that I use to attach to my waist for the sled. It's packed up in one of my in my bag. But the long rope on the sled is just have to do it the old fashioned way. So there's the bushcraft bed. That wall, the west wall, the east wall, there's camp, that's what's left, the fire. Alright guys, I'm out of here, it is 6.30, we got light in 30 minutes. I don't have very far to go. I'm just going up this big hill here and then another couple hundred yards and back to the cabin. So, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate all the comments and support I get from you guys. I just hit 300 subscribers. So, we're doing good. Super happy. Um, That's about it. See you guys out in the woods sometime, maybe. Let's get going.